let's talk a little bit about reciprocals. Now, when you first learn reciprocals, some folks will immediately tell you, hey, just swap the numerator and the denominator. So for example, if I have the fraction 2 thirds, the reciprocal of 2 thirds, if I swap the numerator and the denominator, is 3 halves. If I had the fraction 5 sixths, the reciprocal of that is going to be 6 over 5. And that's all well and good, but what does this actually mean? Well, one interpretation of a reciprocal is, it's the number that when you multiply it by the original number, you get 1. So 2 thirds times 3 halves, we'll see, is equal to 1. Or 5 6 times 6 fifths is equal to 1. Another way to think about reciprocals are, how many of that number, or how many of that fraction fit into 1? So if I were to take 1 and I divide it by 2 thirds, one interpretation of this is saying, how many 2 thirds fit into 1? If I take 1 divided by 5 6, an interpretation of this is, how many 5 6 fit into 1? And we'll see that 3 halves of a 2 thirds fit into 1, and we'll see that in a second, or that 6 fifths of a 5 6 fit into 1. So let's start with a very straightforward example. Let's say that I have the fraction 1 half. So if I have 1 half, if that whole rectangle is a whole, this is 1 half here. So if I were to ask how many 1 halves fit into 1, so 1 divided by 1 half, how many 1 halves fit into 1? Well, I have 1 1 half right over here, and then I would have another 1 half right over there. So we have two 1 halves, so this is equal to 2. Now you might be saying, wait, 2 doesn't look like I just swapped the numerator and the denominator, but you have to realize that 2 is the same thing as two wholes. So the reciprocal of 1 half is indeed 2 over 1. Or if you take 2 over 1, and, or if you have two 1 halves, that is indeed going to be equal to 1. But now let's work on 2 thirds, things that are a little bit more nuanced. So 2 thirds here, I can shade that in. That's 1 third and then 2 thirds. So this right over here is 2 thirds. Now how many of these fit into 1? If we were to say, what's 1 divided by 2 thirds? Well, we can clearly get a whole 2 thirds into 1. And then we can get another third, which is half of a 2 thirds. So we can have a whole 2 thirds and then half of a 2 thirds, or 1 and a half 2 thirds. So we could say 1 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 1 and a half. Well, 1 and a half is the exact same thing as 3 halves. So once again, you can see that 3 halves times 2 thirds is equal to 1, or that 3 halves of a 2 thirds fit into 1. Let's do another example. If we were to think about 3 halves, so 3 halves would be, let's see, that's a half. That's 2 halves. And then this is 3 halves right over here. So let me mark all of that. So this whole thing right over here is 3 halves. Now how many 3 halves fit into a whole? Well, you can see that you can't even fit a whole 3 halves into a whole. You can only fit 2 of the 3 halves. So 1 half, 2 halves of the 3 halves. So what you can see here is that this is 2 thirds of the 3 halves. So if you say 1 divided by 3 halves, how many 3 halves can fit into 1? Well, you can only fit 2 thirds of a 3 halves into 1. And this is interesting, because the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves, and the reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds.